Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have an update to my whole collection project pan, I think is what I decided to call it. I should have checked before. Um, I did want to mention the like actual whole collection project pan was created by Becky Loves Kanga. I don't think she makes videos anymore, but just to give credit where credit's due, Although I'm not really even following the rules of that project, but I'm using the name. And kind of the same theme, which is I think she was pulling like products randomly from her collection, but her goal was to like actually use them up. Um, what I'm doing is more like putting different use goals on each product. And I decided to pull 23 products for 2023. And I think I've decided, well, I have decided <laughs> that I'm going to, um, when I hit my goals on the products, I'm going to replace them. So I'm going to be working on 23 products the whole year. I hope that makes sense. Because the goal for me with these like project pens is not necessarily to like use up products. Sometimes it is, and I'll mention, but it's more to get like use out of my whole collection which is why i think it makes sense to call it a whole collection project i hope anyway that was more like me speaking out loud and trying to explain it to myself at the same time but i hope that made sense so i do have two items to roll out they're not like super exciting but i'm Surprise, I already have two items because it hasn't been that long since I filmed the intro. So I guess what I'll do is show you the products like every update. I'll just talk about the products a bit and then at the end we'll roll in the new products. Yes, as usual I'm making it up as I go. I just press record and who knows what happens. <laughs> so. I will need to pull the products so I have them out here and then we'll get started. Okay, so I'll try to go through these products quickly because there are 23 items. The first one is my Makeup Forever and I'm looking at my computer if you're wondering <laughs> um, because otherwise I wouldn't remember any of this. But this is my Makeup Forever Artist Face Color in the shade B308. So this was rolled in for the blush category, so this is the blush here. Um, my goal was to use this 15 times and I've only used it twice <laughs> so far, but that's okay. I like wearing this blush when I have to go to the office, but that's only like twice a month, so <laughs> I think those are the two times that I used it. Um, because it's just really like nice and natural and not too like flashy. and. I would like to wear very minimal makeup at the office. That's just me. Um, but yeah, I really like this shade. It's like a nice corally shade. I did mention in the intro that this shade is not as bright as I remember it, but I think it's because my tastes have changed in blush and I like a more like vibrant blush these days. But I still really like this one and it's great for like, you know, minimal makeup look looks so yes i only have like i said two uses so many more to go that is a high use goal for me 15 but since that's such like an easy shade to put on i thought it made sense the next product also in the blush category is my freck beauty cheek slime in the shade fever dream this is the blush I'm wearing today and I was like laughing out loud when I applied this. This is like the Rare Beauty blush, the liquid one, where like you can only use a dot of this. And this is like straight up red. So I think I managed to like blend it out. But when I first applied this, I looked crazy. Like I literally looked, okay. This, no, no one's gonna get this reference, but if you play The Sims 2, you know when like you get a sunburn? <laughs> That's what I looked like. Um, yeah, and it literally looked like 
a fee like I had a fever. So I don't know. I tried to I put it I started out just putting it here like where I normally put my blush, but then I had to like spread it across my whole face or else I looked like ill. So <laughs> I hope it I don't know, on camera it doesn't look that bad because it kind of like has a sheen to it. And I think like when I blended my bronzer and highlighter on top, it actually kind of blended this away. So I don't know how long this is going to wear, but you have to be very careful with this. I don't know like how I'm even going to use this up. Like this is, how much is in here? 0.845 ounces. And you can only use a dot at a time. Yeah, I don't know. So I, what is my goal in this? My goal is to use this 10 times and I used it once. So yeah. <laughs> uh, for bronzer, I rolled in the shade Cafe Con Leche from my Alamar um, Hydrating Complexion Trio. This one here. And I really like this. It's a very light bronzer. Um, I'm not even sure if you can tell that I'm wearing it. To be honest, it's very light. But I do like it. I like how it like blends out easily too. And it's kind of like a neutral shade. So I guess that's why it doesn't show up as much. Because I do have like a neutral skin tone. But I've used this six out of the 15 times and I'll have no trouble um, using this for the 15 times because it's a really easy shade to use like I can use this with any look and it doesn't like clash or anything like that so yeah I'm really liking this I did actually also use this um, highlighting shade under my eyes and I think I liked it because actually we just came back we went on a little staycation and I forgot to bring a concealer <laughs> so I used this under my eyes and I didn't hate it so yeah anyway that's the update on the bronzer for brows I rolled the Patrick Ta um, shaping wax I always want to call this brow wax but it's called shaping wax and if you saw my last video the pan is not connected <laughs> anymore, um, but I'm still using it. I'm going to try and hit my goal. Well, actually, I've already used it nine out of the ten times, so I am wearing it today. I do actually like it. It's just so cumbersome because the pan is disconnected and it's like shrunk, so it doesn't even fit in here. So when I use it, like I have to hold the pen down and spray it with my setting spray and then I, I have the brush that goes with it and I scrape it like this. So, I mean, I can make it work, it's just annoying. So, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that it's a clear shaping wax, I still have to use another product in my brows to give them color and like fullness. So yeah, it's not my favorite. I definitely wouldn't buy this again, um, but I also don't hate it. Like if the packaging was better, um, I'd probably really like this actually because it, it is nice. Like it doesn't feel crispy, but it also um, is not like wet or like glossy on the brows. So I like that about this and I feel like it does last throughout the day. So. Yeah, almost hit my goal on this. This will definitely be rolled out next time. For concealer, this one I thought I would hit my goal on, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I have a goal to use this 10 times, and I've only used it three because I only use this concealer for spot concealing, and thankfully I haven't really needed to spot conceal much lately and I think that's due to another product I'll show you soon but yeah I've, so I've only used it three times so that's staying in for eyeliner uh, this one is the Tristique 
Line Sharpen and Smudge Eye Pencil in Santorini Black Sand. I used this for the first time today and I do want to use it five times because I know myself I never use um, eyeliner, especially black pencil liner. But I tried it today on my upper waterline. I think it's called the tight line, right? And I like the effect of it. It like immediately made my um, like my eyelashes look fuller, but it also transferred a little into my waterline. If you, I don't know if you can see that, so it's not the best for tight lining because of that. Unless you're also gonna put in your waterline, but I don't like black eyeliner in my waterline um, because I feel like it just makes my eyes look small and like I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> do that look um yeah so one out of five times on this but i think i'm just gonna keep using it on my tight line and we'll see what happens so that's my update on the eyeliner i am pretty impressed that i did use it once and but that's only because i before filming this i was looking at my list like what can i use um and this was because I already had done my whole look, I could have just added the eyeliner, you know what I mean? Anyway, so next is my eyeshadow palette that I rolled in, which is one of my favorites, the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms. Um, I have only used it one out of 20. I put my use goal 20, oh my god. But this is the palette. Um, I mean, I don't mind using this 20 times. I just feel like <laughs> that's a lot because I am doing other projects that involve eyeshadows um, and also my deck of panning has a palette in there. But anyway, um, yeah, so I apparently only use this one time. But this, these are the shades. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, that's all I think I need to say on this. I was wearing it in one of my videos. Um, I think the intro to this project. And I really like it. Every time I use it, I like my look. So, um, yeah. Happy to use this 19 more times. Then for foundation, I have my Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. This is what I'm wearing today. And I really like this. I will say... I don't think I can use two pumps of this um, because I feel like it can start to look a little heavy um, but if I only use one pump I don't feel like I have enough for everywhere so really like the sweet spot with this is one and a half <laughs> pumps um, at least for what I like but yeah I'm very happy that this was the the foundation, well, one of the foundations I rolled into this project. Also because it's an airless pump, so I can easily track my progress, and now I am here. So I think I'm making really good progress on this. It looks like there's not a lot of product in here, but there is one ounce, which is standard for foundation. So yeah, what is my goal on this? 10. I've used this five times, so I've hit my goal I have a 50% goal hit <laughs> on this and yeah, I'm happy to use it five more times because it's really nice. The other foundation, however, my Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. This is the oldest foundation in my collection. My goal is to use it up. It's already, I would say, half done. Um, but I've only used it twice since the intro and that's because this is a more like full coverage foundation for me and I don't really wear like that kind of foundation on a daily basis. I prefer something more like this. So I, I try to like use this at night or like if I'm going out which is like very rare. <laughs> So that's why I've only used it twice. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I might have to declare this like at the end of the year. So I'm going to try and use as much as I can and then we'll see. Just because it's so old and this doesn't even exist anymore. So talking about it in my videos is really just useless for everybody. So 
yes, that's the story with this one. Oh, this product is the first one that I am rolling out. It is for my fragrance category. I actually pulled a an essential oil and my goal was to use this 10 times. And I think I said in my intro, I was going to try and use it as a fragrance because it's meant this particular essential oil is meant to be used like in your skincare or on your body. Um, but I actually ended up really liking this in my diffuser because it's the Young Living Bloom essential oil, if I didn't say that already. And it's very like springtime, like fresh floral, but not like powdery floral, like a nice floral. And it just reminds me of spring and so for this time of year, like I'm looking forward to spring obviously because right now it's like snowing, well, it's not snowing at this moment, but where I live it's basically winter until May, so <laughs> anything that reminds me of spring is good. Um, but yeah, I used this one time as a fragrance, so I actually put it on and I didn't love it on me so if you're not familiar with essential oil like fragrances they smell different like on your actual skin than they do when you diffuse them because they like mix with your body chemistry or whatever anyway but I, yeah i did hit my goal on this i actually overpassed my goal i only meant to use this 10 times but i used it 13 times yeah and i considered like keeping this in just to use up because there's a little window here and i can see i think i've used a, almost half of this in just the 13 times so i i could use this up quite easily um, when I diffuse it, I put five drops at a time. Um, but like I said at the beginning, because this project is meant to like rotate through my collection, I will roll this out and replace it with something else. Um, the next fragrance, this one is funny, the Lancôme Idole. I said in the, in the intro, oh, this is going to be so easy to use. It's just a mini. I have actually used this seven times and I'm still only there. So I don't know what I was thinking. I guess there was like an air bubble in this. Like after the first time I used it, I, I don't know if that even makes sense. But yeah, it only went down like by a millimeter. <laughs> so I do find, I do really like this. I'm wearing it today. Um, but it's very like... I don't want to say strong because it's not a strong scent but I mean like you can smell it and it lasts like throughout the day and it stays like on my clothes just using like a few drops not even drops like what I do is I actually just take the cap off and whatever's on the cap I dab I think that's how you're supposed to use it anyway um I don't know I'm not a fragrance kind of star but yeah, so I don't need to use a lot of this at once and I don't use this like as my everyday fragrance because I also have a body spray in my deck of panning. So this one's, um, yeah, and I said I'm, if I my goal was 10 times, I mean, I'd be close because I've used it seven already, but my goal is to use this up. So this will be sticking around. I think I need to go faster. <laughs> so... For my highlighter, MAC Double Gleam. My goal is to use this 10 times. I've only used it once because I have so many other highlighters, not just in projects, but in like shop my stash and everything. But I do really like this and yeah, I'll have to use it nine more times. The next one is the Hard Candy um, Rose, what is it? Rose Gold Highlighter. I did not use this at all and my goal is to use it 10 times so that's going to be sticking around. I do really like this, I just, I don't know, kind of forgot about it. Uh, for lip gloss, the first one I rolled in was the Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. This is another product I have not used yet and my goal is to use it 10 times. 
I really like this gloss. I just have been using other things. And actually, if you can see this white box here, that's my like chopping block box. So I have eyeshadow palettes and I rotate through like 10 lip products at a time because I need to do a declutter. And this is the best way for me to do a declutter because I really don't like just getting rid of things without even knowing if I like them or not. So I do it by actually testing the products. Anyway, so I've been doing a lot of lip product testing and this just, you know, went on the back burner. I did also roll in another lip gloss and I didn't mention at the beginning, but um, my like rule is that I only have two products in every category so that's why I have two lip glosses but that's the max like I wouldn't roll in three lip glosses so this one actually is like my new favorite gloss and I think it doesn't exist anymore I got it on like clearance so I think it's because like it was discontinued this is the lethal cosmetics Nova lip gloss right well the shade is Nova but these are called the Lumen lip glosses, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say on here, but I think that's what they are. Anyway, I'm wearing this today. I love it. Um, it re goes really well with another product. Actually, it's the next product on the list, so I'll just mention it now. The MAC Soar Lip Pencil. So these two are like my new favorite lip combo. I love them so much. Uh, so for the... Did I even say? For the lip gloss, I used this three times. My goal is to use it ten, so I still have seven more uses on this. And this was brand new when I rolled it in. Um, this Max Soar, I've used seven of the ten times, so only three more uses on this. But I love this lip pencil. Actually, it surprised me. I didn't think I would because it looks like it's going to be super like pink, but I don't know. It's more like a neutral and honestly, it's very similar to my natural pigmentation of my lips. So it really just does what I want a lip liner to do, which is to just define and help me like even out my lip line because it's not even <laughs> naturally but I really love this um and it's very creamy but not in the sense that like you'd use it up quickly either so that's why like I haven't even had to sharpen this yet even though I've used it seven times it's still like looking like this so this might take a while to act, like if I wanted to use this up, that would take a long time. But like I said, I only want to use it 10 times in this project. So three more uses on this one. The other lip liner, however, the Bodyography Rosewood, I've only used two times. And that's because this is a very deep shade. Um, yeah. It's like a vampy. This is more like a fall shade for me, but I do like it. I did like it the times that I used it. So yes, I will keep this in for eight more <laughs> uses. I just realized like, did I put the wrong cap? No, for some reason this cap is like loose. I hope that doesn't mean it will dry out. Anyway, that's the Bodyography Lip Pencil in Rosewood. Then the powder category, which I'm not surprised I have not gotten much use on at all. This first one, the Becca Hydra Mist, this is just a mini. I've used it zero times. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like this, so I should honestly just try it and see. But I'm always worried that I'll ruin my look because this is a product I would put on like at the very end and I don't want my skin to look dry or, you know? So, I don't know. My goal is to use this 10 times and I've used it zero times, but 
I need to use it to see if I actually like it. If not, I'll just pass it on. Um, and then the KVD Locket setting powder. This one I've actually used two times and I thought I liked it at first, but I realized, well, the problem is I'm working on the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in my deck of panning and that concealer does not need to be set because it already like sets down on at least on me and my dry skin I, like i'm wearing it today um and i just feel like it it's not a concealer you need to set for me so when i did set it with this it looked very dry and then i was like scared to use it again so yeah i've only used it twice but i'll try and use it eight more times for primers, my tier 4 and 1 correcting primer, I actually really like this. I've used this 4 out of the 10 times and it's just a really nice like gel cream primer so um, I'll have no problem continuing to use this. So 6 more uses. Um, my e.l.f. putty primer I've only used twice. Um, one, the second time was today actually, but I do really like this, I think. Um, well, what I like about it is I have the brush that goes with it. The e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. I really like this because it has a little scoop on the end. So what I do is I just like scoop this out and then I put it on my skin and then I use the brush to like pat it in um, but now that I'm looking at my skin like in the mirror I don't know if this really does much like considering it's called a poreless putty primer I don't know maybe because the rose ink is not really like a blurring product but I don't feel like my pores look very blurred but I don't know I like the texture of it and it's, it is like one of those like poreless primers, but it doesn't feel like dry or waxy. So I don't mind continuing to use it, but I don't know if it's doing much, but I've used this two out of 10 times. And then the last two products are my setting sprays. So for the Peach and Lily setting spray, I've used six out of 10 times. I'm wearing this today. I really like it. Um, I'm trying to see, it's very hard to see where I'm at with this, but I think it's still like up here, so <laughs> yeah, but I only want to use this 10 times, so four more uses on this, but the last product is actually the second product I'm rolling out, my In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. <laughs> I've made great progress on this because this is like a multi-use product product <laughs> for me. I use it to activate my brow wax. I use it um, just to like freshen up. I use it as a setting spray. Actually what I've been doing is after I apply like all my cream products, then I'll spray my face with this. And then I use the Peach and Lily as the finishing step. But yeah, I really like this. It's just like nice and refreshing. It has like a citrusy smell. Um, it makes, it does make me feel like my skin isn't as dry also. <laughs> so that's good. And yeah, so my goal is to use this 10 times. I said I used it 10. I really used it more than that, but I only count the uses like on the days. So like I could have used this like four times in one day, but I still only said one because it was on the same day. You know what I mean? But um, if I shake it up, because it is a dual phase product, I am to here. So that is really good. Um, yeah. We'll see about that. I was going to say maybe I'll finish it <laughs> this year, but I have so many other setting sprays, so who knows. But anyway, so the only two products I'm rolling out is the setting spray and the essential oil. <laughs> That's why I said it's not very exciting, um, but anyway, it's still exciting to roll in new things. So how I do this is 
I use my Tiny Decisions app. Wait, what do I do again? No. I use my Pretty Random app and I roll for the category and then I use the Tiny Decisions app to roll for the product. So, but I also have to keep in mind I don't want to work on more than two things in the same category. So this might be kind of boring because I might be skipping <laughs> a lot of things. But let's just do it on camera anyway just so you guys know what I'm talking about because I don't think I explained that very well. So first of all, I have to see how many categories I have. Yeah, 14 categories in my Tiny Decisions app, but one of them is lashes, so I don't count lashes. I, I'm going to replace lashes with fragrance. So if I get... If I roll the number 13, that's actually a fragrance, not a lash. Right. Oh my god, I'm confusing myself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, the number 12 is going to be fragrance, not lashes. So I put um, the numbers from 1 to 14 in the Pretty Random app. So we'll roll for the category. 14. So if I go to my Tiny Decisions app, oh, this works out perfectly because category 14 is brows and I do have to, um, I do have to pull in a different brow product because like I said, the Patrick Ta is a clear and I need color in my brows and what I've been using for color is actually in another project and I hit my goal on that. I won't say what it is, but you probably know if you've been watching my videos, but I'll save that for that video. So I do need to roll in another brow product. Okay, so I won't roll in another clear brow gel, but let's just see what I get. So these are all my brow products. Oh, this works really well. The Kosas Brow Pop Pencil. Yes, I can definitely use a pencil with the shaping wax. So that is great. Let me just roll the next thing and I'll get the products. So between 1 and 14. 8. Oh, 8 is lips. So I already have two lip liners. Well, that's a separate category anyway. I already have two lip glosses, so I won't roll in another gloss, but let's see what I get. Sephora Mini Cream Lip Stain in 01. I don't think I have that anymore. That is a red lip liquid lipstick. <laughs> Great. Uh, it is a mini though. Okay, let me go and see if I even still have that and I'll get the brow pencil. Okay, so this is the Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. And I hope this is still usable. No, it isn't. Well, okay. It's extremely dry, but I think if I use enough pressure, I can make it work since it's a brow pencil. But these Kosas products, I don't know if you saw in my Shop My Stash, I had to throw out the Kosas lip liner that was literally brand new because it just like fell apart on itself. And yeah, this is very dry, but I think it's still gonna work out. If not, then you'll see it <laughs> in an empties, I guess. But yeah, that's the brow pencil. So what am I going to say for this? I think a 10 use goal would make sense. Let's say 10 uses for the brow pencil. The Sephora Mini Cream Lip Stain in 01. Yes, I do still have it. Um, I did declutter another red one of these and a 
like a deluxe size so that's why I thought I didn't have this anymore but that was a different red that I think it was 97 the shade name um, and I did not like that tone of red on me it was like I don't know a brownie kind of red but this is like a true blue tone red that I really like it's just I have to Whenever I wear a red lip, like I have to go into my look knowing that I'm going to wear a red lip so that I don't do like an eye look that would clash, you know what I mean? So that's why I rarely use my red lip products, um, but I will try and use this. How much is even in here? This is like so tiny. Oh, that is a nice shade of red. I think this was in my project pan in 2021. Yes. I still have my list because I keep my project pans like on the same Excel. Yeah, in 2021, <laughs> this was in my um, project pan and obviously it's still here so I haven't panned it. But it was in that project and I used it six times apparently. Wait, what? No, I did not. I used it zero times. Okay, so that explains <laughs> why it's still here. But I'll try and use this. I guess, let's do five though, because there's no way I'll get to ten uses on this, this, like, season at least. So, five times for the lip, the cream lip stain, right? Yeah. I actually really do like this formula, so... Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and maybe, hmm, no. I was gonna say maybe that would go with the bodyography, but the bodyography is more like a berry. Yeah, so probably not. Anyway, that is my update um, for my whole collection project fan. And yeah. That's how I roll in new products. I don't know if I'll do that every time on camera. I don't know, let me know if you if you like when I do it on camera or if I should just pick the products before so that the video is shorter. <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.